Alright, well, good morning, tubers. I uh, did this video last night, but it, uh, my battery died. So, I'll also look into getting a different little uh, video camera here, out here, actually. I already have it, I just have to get it out here. Alright, so, uh, stepper driver, stepper motor mounted, obviously, we covered that. Uh, wires are all extended. You see the end result is right here. Yeah, I feel like I've said all this before. Oh yeah, I have, but the video didn't uh, take because the battery died. So anyway, um, I went ahead and uh, wired up the Z-axis to the uh, 48 volt uh, generic power supply off of Amazon. Um, go ahead and fire up the computer here because everything I covered last night. Alright, so we got uh, a couple of lights here. We got uh, the relays on. Okay. So yeah, there's um, definitely some things I do not like about this uh about these boards relays on relay shouldn't be on um go ahead and start my uh windows xp instead of my ubuntu okay so The issue, got a couple issues. Uh, first of all, and I guess I should have showed this. Uh, oops, I'll go ahead and connect my. Uh, Alright, relay just kicked off, so that means that this power supply will be off too. So, uh, relay light kicked off because the system finally booted in and started controlling the power, I guess, like it should. Alright, so we got the 48 volt power supply wired up. Got it wired into the uh, 90 volt uh, 8 amp driver. Uh, settings at uh, 5.5 amp peak. 3.9 RMS. I was very, very pleased with the uh, with the motor speed, and I hadn't even gotten up to uh, full speed. And power supply uh, decided it was going to light itself on fire. Uh, if I had not been out here, it could have been a bad, bad, bad thing. Anyway, it's unplugged. I'll be taking care of that. But that uh, brings me to a point where I will have to... I will definitely have to make up a, a wire up a setup so that if any of the power supplies lose power, that shuts the whole system down. Um, yeah, it's definitely not a... Yeah, if that power supply lost power, Z is no longer, say, able to go up. X and Y were still functioning normally, and either just plowing through material and breaking stuff, or the power fails on the output due to internal issues, uh, 120 volts still feeding into it, continuing to feed them issues, um, starting a fire. So, uh, basically we'll be wiring relays to all the power supplies that'll then disconnect the whole system if there's an output issue. And again, this is going to be a very convoluted wiring scheme, but I, I definitely believe in, in safety above all else. I mean, I've, uh, I've ran more than my fair share of CNC machines, industrial, large-scale machines, programming, and design for the 
uh, parts go on the machines, uh, safety is a big concern. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the uh, oh yeah, isn't that beautiful? Alright, so as you can see what happens there <coughs> and I'll do that with the hand controller is on I'm going to go ahead and reset I'm going to show the reset here and reset there Alright, so that's an, uh, basically an e-stop, and again, I'm just going to kind of, oh no, I got a little birdie that's trying to build a nest in my garage, actually it's trying to build a nest in that pink motorcycle helmet up there, I keep scaring it away by being in here, I don't mind one bit actually, as long as the cats don't get it, because we got too many cats alright so anyway uh, show the brightness of these lights beautiful absolutely beautiful love it so today I'll be wiring in the uh, other 48 volt power supply uh, wiring up two other step drives, getting some limit switches put in place, getting up a switch panel uh, made up, and possibly starting on the Torodio transformer. I think my screws are here for this guy today. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a hot day. Lovely, lovely Florida weather. Uh, so in all reality I won't get any of it done and I'll be back here this evening saying this is still what I need to do so we'll see and uh, we'll go from there alright peace